can't even find the record button. Is it recording now? I see it recording. Did you see that before? Testing, test. No, I didn't. <laughs> so it didn't record. This is the Jim and Terry Show coming to you from the Hobbit Hole Studio and Bob Cajun. I'm Terry. Are we starting again? <laughs> this is the Jim and Terry Show, episode 482. It's and we about- just did a 482. That was one of the best shows we ever did. But for some reason, <laughs> Why Terry that? decided not to record it. I thought I hit record, and most of the time the letter R means record. It usually but, does, But yes. it doesn't here. It's an asterisk key, and I thought I... Well, you're I, making an asterisk. I'm oh, just saying. I'm making an asterisk of myself for sure. Um, this was an episode that we were going to ching, clink, clink. Bang, bang. So I'll do that to celebrate yep. the production of your first retirement goal, which was to produce an album, and it's now... Paid for. Paid for and in production. Should be delivered within 10 to 12 days. Uh, It's called House of Mansions. Uh, All songs written by me. And uh, a special thanks to you, Terry, because you did all that artwork, you know, to to, to put everything in place uh, so that we could have this completed. And I know it was a lot of work, and I couldn't have done it without you. Honest to God, I couldn't have. So thank you. You're welcome, and I again, we said this time and time again, this is what friends are for. We go the distance with people. We don't. Sorry, Jim. I agreed to do that eight-panel one. You want a what now? <laughs> well, yeah, and, and that, that completely changed everything. That was, and, and, and then, and that then was after, almost a bridge. Uh, and then I, I got word from the manufacturers, which are nice people. They yes. seem very nice. Uh, I got word for them, and I said, it's a go, Terry. And I knew you were on holidays, and, and I knew there was something else you were going to do if you came back. But I wanted to get you before you got back to say, don't worry. Yeah. It's all done. Absolutely completed. Enjoy your holidays. Enjoy your holidays. One day later. Jim, uh, there seems to be a problem with it. I went, no, and I lost it, Terry. And my friend said, why have you lost it? Like, what's your problem? I said, I don't do this myself. I got to put this back to Terry, who's doing all this work for nothing. I said, you got you, you talk about a price for friendship, Terry. You're paying through the nose on Did this you, one. So when you got that, we need to talk about conversation with your uh, production company. Did the weight suddenly sink on your oh, shoulders? Like a, it, oh, yeah. So it was like being squeezed, like a lemon being squeezed, and out came a whole bunch of... La, 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 la. Yeah, I wasn't very Christian-like in no. my response. No, Not to the people, but just just into open air. I yeah. was just so incredibly frustrated. Because part of the problem is, once it's done and you make the decision, you, you pay for it. Yes. It's done. I've Before done it. I've done it. it. Others yeah. would say, why would you pay that kind of money? Blah, blah, blah. But I did it. I did it. Bang. So that eases yes. and then the next day it starts coming it, it back. It came back on the weight was lifted and then yeah. the weight came back and crushed you. <laughs> and crushed me. So anyways yeah. it was I was blown away at the speed of how you resolved it because I just said I sent Terry an email saying help. <laughs> yes. That's all I said help. <laughs> I saw that. And and I felt bad and I was losing it in my own little corner. This test uh, I failed. Uh, if it was a trial I failed it. Uh, anyways uh, by the end the next day, anyways, I can't remember. It was resolved, and and now it's been like two days since I gave the okay to. And nothing's come back. And nothing's come back. So it's a done deal now, really. Silence is golden. But the thing yeah. was, as I said to Terry, it's a done deal. So Terry, what did he naturally do? He's got all my junk all over his computer. He discarded it. Deleted. It deleted. And then I come back and go. Um, <laughs> you know a that file. <laughs> <laughs> Terry goes. I deleted it all. Now I gotta go find well, it, it. It was gigabytes worth of stuff, and I uh, did have it under a file labeled Jim's House of Mansions, yeah. and that had artwork as well as the audio, all in one place, conveniently located. So it was a nice, easy delete. But good thing I didn't clean my trash bin oh. because that's where I got it all from. And now I've deleted it <laughs> from the trash bin. And, so and there's it, no going back, Jim. It, there's no going back, and I'm just gonna get some paper, cut it out with scissors. And I'll just Scotch write tape. on it with pink, uh, <laughs> House of Mansions, burn the CD myself and forget it. Yeah, that what an ordeal. And yet, as I said to you before, lifelong learning is what I'm appreciating. And at our stage in life, we're, we're pretty long in the tooth at this point. Not that we're post-retirement, post-collecting pensions. I still like to learn. And you had to learn what a DDP was. You had to learn how this thing was going to... I've still got this thing here. I'm holding this paper in front of Jim. 
Oh yeah, I just threw mine out. An eight and a half by eleven piece folded into six equal portions, folded in half first and then into threes. Why? Because we had to visualize which part of this stuff folds up into production. It goes where, and is some of it's half of it's upside down. Yeah, well, that's the thing. When you sent the the sketch to me, I said immediately. That's wrong. How come Terry can't see that this is wrong? <laughs> you know, you can see it's wrong. And so what I did is exactly that. I got a paper out, folded it into to six equal cubes. And I went, yeah, I can see how this works. Fold, fold. Oh, that's how it works. And, and yeah, but it's a learning process. Yeah. And uh, holy moly, I don't know how to make that easier because I'm so wordy in my lyrics. You had to get all of those 10 songs in that well, eight, well, 12 inches long, 12 inches long, whatever it would be, really. Yeah, I don't that, know how long it was, but... Uh, but for the CD, I mean... You had three yeah. panels to get 10 songs in. Yeah, yeah. And you did it! And you got the thank yous in the back done, and you got the back cover done, listening to songs. The best part of this, and I think you should keep this as a souvenir, <laughs> this was your concept. And there's Jim with his funky hat and he, it looks like his, <laughs> his rat tail going down yeah, the back. My funky hat. I, I chose a picture for the, for the album, uh, not at the front, just at the back uh, of me because I like to be able to see who, yep. uh, who, who recorded the songs and junk like that. So I put a picture there. But I put the one where I, had, I let my hair grow long for the purpose of having it, taken a picture. I had forgotten, but that's why I did it. Yeah. I just wanted a picture of me with a beard and long hair, and I like that picture. So, And, and the, the neat thing about the picture looks like I have a braid. How cool yep. is that? It looks like <laughs> a, what the kids would have called a rat tail. Yeah, yeah, a rat tail. Uh, so, it, yeah, I liked it, so that's yep. on there. So it's done. It and, is done. And thanks to you, because uh, I, I wouldn't have been able to do it without you. Well, listen, so. this is a question of paying it forward, because my experience is in the printing Industry. That's where my yeah, father yeah. had a shop on the Danforth. My brothers worked there. I worked there for summer after summer. Some of my brothers consist. Uh, con Continue. Uh, thank you. Consistently. Please. Continue. They did, and became their employment in yeah. life. They, yeah, yeah. they didn't go on. Whereas I chose academia and went on to university. They worked, but I even when I graduated and tried to find a teaching job, and I couldn't get a teaching job in the Toronto board at that time. So I worked half time for my father still. And all the stuff that I've learned over those years came to well, you. Well, there you go. Thank goodness. Yeah. Thank goodness for that. Because I, I couldn't have done it, not even for a minute. Uh, and, and to get something like that done, I remember a friend of mine said, well, I, I, I got some. I got, I got somebody, man. <laughs> uh, about fifteen hundred bucks. Probably you and put Marlon Brando. <laughs> I got fifteen hundred bucks. I said I can't pay that out for that. I got all these other costs. So no. Uh, and then you said, "Well, come on." He didn't know what he was getting into. <laughs> hey, come on. I can help you with that, Jim. I said, "Okay, Terry. Thank you." <laughs> there was a little moi ha ha in there. Yeah. And this... so it worked out, and I'm happy. Now I'm happy. I'm trying to realize. Okay, this. But I remember the Beatles said, well, and not comparing myself to the Beatles, but I remember when the Beatles said, when they asked them, how was it when you made it? You know what? It was just so, like when I did my single, it was the same thing. It was a year before they, they decided they wanted to back me on a single. I did the single. It was a year after. How was it? Almost anticlimactic. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, I mean, okay, there's, it's there. I like that. Anticlimactic juice. Anticlimactic juice. So I can understand why it's just, you know, becomes a business because it's just getting all this junk together. Yep. So you can say you got a CD. Now there, what? Now what even? There when? are so many loose ends once you embark on this journey of producing. And you did it and you saw it right through to writing the check. Or whatever yeah. method of electronic credit file transfer. Card. One good thing I got good credit. <laughs> Did you use Bitcoin <laughs> or some other cryptocurrency to pay them off? Um, I don't yeah, know it's done. So I'm looking forward to popping a bottle of bubbly and, and uh, celebrating mm. with you. And uh, I think the lesson for me, we're never too old to learn new tricks. Well, and, and there, there's driving forces behind everything. You know, it, it's... it's uh, 
I don't know why I need to do it so much, but I do. You're driven. Yeah, I'm driven to do it. So that, that's yeah. there it is. And it's not the last one. You know, now, maybe you should show be me how to do it. <laughs> uh, uh, but maybe the next one would be a lot easier, you see, since we had to learn to go through all of that. And uh, uh, you had to learn m the most of it. But th now we know the stages. We know how it mm. works. I was told before I started. Just like when you told me when I when I purchased uh, Logic Pro, it's going to be a real learning curve. It's a cliff. This making this CD was a learning curve. <laughs> so yeah. thanks again, Terry. You're welcome. Thank Cheers. you for your help. This is the Jim and Terry Show celebrating Jim's accomplishment of his first retirement goal. Stay tuned for his next one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. You can do it. Bye-bye for now. Bye.